Don't let anyone say that it's just a game For I've seen other teams and it's never the same Oh, I feel like a kid again. It's the Pearland Little League All-Stars, the Superstars. They're going to Williamsport. How good does it get? You win the state championship. You're off to Williamsport. The community loves you, and Craig Biggio is waiting in the studio to receive you and asking the kids for autographs. Does it get any better than that? How are you? How you doing, sir? How are you? I get you? I you back here? Some who went deep? Somebody went deep, right center? Two bombs were right center? Two different guys or something? Was that Lifts this one out to left field, and another big blast from Pearland. We all knew that we would have a chance, and we just come out ready to play every day. It just felt really great to be there because we knew we had a chance to go to Williamsport. Should Craig Biggio be in the Hall of Fame? Yes. <laughs> all of a sudden it popped on my glove and I was like, oh crap. And I just stayed with it and we just got that out. And then what? And then a mob scene ensued. For the first time, Harrowland, Texas is heading to the Little League World Series in Williamsport. Teach them how to play hard, pray hard and have faith in themselves. I'll play fair and strive to win, but win or lose, I'll always do my best. It's a big deal and we're excited for you and uh, we're really happy for you because you're a good bunch of young men and uh, well disciplined and very humble. So I, like I tell my kids, when things start speeding up around you, try to slow it down because it's going to speed up, but try to slow it down. So step out and take a big deep breath. Get your composure back, and then try to go out and do what you're, right, you're, you're, you're focused at doing. enjoy people. People are so diversified that you seldom meet anyone that's the same. It's an ugly thing. Are we really ugly things? When he blows his whistle, he loves his whistle. And he, I mean, he will blow it. Believe me. The whistle and the bell, they'll sound at the same time. People can't hear the whistle, can hear the bell, and vice versa. But most of all, I love the people. So, uh, you know, I, I just hope, I just hope I don't have to give it up for a while yet. We're very disappointed that this is happening. This is, um, we're really looking forward to it. We've been here 30 years and now that they're gonna take them away, it's pretty sad for us. MG Mortgage is foreclosing on the 48 acres of land this morning. What they're, they're not, what's not part of that foreclosure are the statues of the presidents. I think that Amici really never understood the importance of the giant statues and artwork created by David Attucks. Well, obviously I'm disappointed that uh, it didn't work here, but we're reevaluating everything and maybe there'll be another site where we can put the presidential gardens. Right now they're going back to my shop and temporary storage. It became an identity for people coming home to the city of Pearland and it, it's really a sad day that the people of Pearland won't be greeted by the giant statues of the presidents. We were looking forward to bringing our grandchildren out and stuff and so now that it's gone it's just a big loss yeah. and it's sad. I 
I, I'm surprised they even inducted me. I, I really am uh, humbled by it and grateful that, that I'm able to get in here and uh, surprised a bit. Just like the songs I leave it. This is a big deal here for me. It's my home state. I made it by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> and this officially makes you the newest member of the Texas Country Music Hall of Fame. I voted for us. I'm very glad. We're very honored. Um, these folks have been very nice. There's a crowd of people out there wanting to hear us sing. And like I say, I'm a native-born son of Texas, as are my two brothers, Steve and Rudy. So uh, uh, the opportunity, the honor, the great honor that they've bestowed on us to be members of the Texas Music, uh, Country Music Hall of Fame is, uh, is something that we're very grateful for. The greatest honor that people can pay you, I think, is the fact that they would pay hard-earned money to hear you sing. We had our shot, we've had a wonderful life, and uh, we're grateful for it. The newest members of the Texas Country Music Hall of Fame, Larry Steve, Rudy, and The people that have come out of here are incredible, but nowadays it's, it's kind of tough. There's just a few good venues for the blues. come out here you don't know what you're gonna get you jump up and you just hope something's gonna mesh a little bit it's how you keep your chops up and how you you know find different audiences people come out here that aren't expecting to hear anything and then they want to see where you're gonna play I don't get enough playing five, six nights a week. I come out here to just play with guys like Sparky, the young guys. Once they hear that I'm trying to do what they're trying to do, then they understand that it's not really an age thing always. You can tap into it pretty easily. I mean, just from your own experiences, you can kind of relate to a lot of blues. Coming out to the blues jams and stuff, they really got me even deeper into it, um, learning different song standards and stuff like that. And then, you know, after a while, I started picking up licks from some local guys, some guys around Houston. Mm -hmm. um, John Richardson, John McVeigh, uh, people like that, Big Al Bettis. My first time I ever got to a blues jam was over at the Big Easy. And it was pretty much my first experience playing with some real guys, real musicians that I know what they're doing. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of people that are diehard people that you see at going maybe to two or three clubs a night just to see music. If everybody could just go out and see live music at least maybe once a week, go see some local artists, it really helps them out. It really gives them a lot of encouragement to keep going and keep playing. It helps us out. There's still a strong blues spirit in this town and a lot of talent. These kids want to do it. You know, Stevie Ray's been gone now 20 years, but these kids that, that didn't want to live when he was playing, they're out there wanting to, to 
to be Texas blues guitar players, and there's a lot of great talent. Blues is alive and well. Thank you.